All right, sixth graders, welcome back. Today we're looking at ratios. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to identify and write um, and compare ratios. So a ratio is basically a comparison of two quantities by division, and they can be written three different ways. So you might see, uh, for example, one to two with a sem or with a colon in between it. You might see it written just saying like one to two. And then the most mathematical way that you'll see it is actually written as a fraction. So an example we can look at is a basket of fruit contains six apples, four bananas, three oranges. So we want to know what is the ratio of bananas to apples. So we are comparing bananas, the number of bananas to apples. Well there's four bananas and six apples, we could say four to six, we could say four to six, or we could simply write it as four over six. So what is the, the next one is, what is the ratio of bananas and apples to oranges? So you're always going to be looking for that keyword two. So this time it's bananas and apples, which would be six plus four, or ten, to oranges, which is three, or you could write ten to three, or 10 over 3. Alright, so why don't you go ahead and pause the video and then just try this next one on your own. So what is the ratio of oranges to total pieces of fruit? So oranges would be 3 and total pieces of fruit would be 13. So you could have 3 to 13 or 3 over 13. Now sometimes they're going to ask you to simplify a ratio, but the thing to remember is that simplifying a ratio is just like simplifying a fraction, since one of the ways that we can write a ratio is in a fraction. For example, at Franklin Middle School there are 252 sixth graders and 9 sixth grade teachers, so what is the ratio of students to teachers in simplest form? All right. so since it's students to teachers, students is going to go first. So we have 252 over 9. Um, now I know the trick that 2 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 9, which is divisible by 9. So each of these numbers is divisible by 9, so I can simplify my fraction that way. If I do 252 divided by 9... It would be 28, and 9 divided by 9 is 1, so our ratio in simplest form would be 28 students to 1 teacher. Now let's look at another couple of examples. Wallet size photos are 3.5 inches wide by 5 inches long. Portrait size photos are 8 inches wide by 10 inches long. So which photo has the greatest ratio of width to length? So we're going to compare width to length, so it's always going to be... Okay, so we have 3.5 over 5, and then we have 8 over 10. Since we want to compare the two, one easy way to do that is to actually take the denominators and make them into the same number. Um, so in this case, we could either take 5 and multiply it by 2, or we could take 10 and divide it by 2, whichever you wanted to do. I'm just going to choose to multiply 5 by 2, kind of like creating a common denominator. So 3.5 times 2 would be 7, 5 times 2 would be 10. Since 8 out of 10 is bigger than 7 out of 10, the 8 by 10 has a greater ratio of width to length. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and then try this last problem on your own. Honey lemon cough drops come in packages of 30 drops per 10 ounce bag, while cherry cough drops come in packages of 24 drops per 6 ounce bag. Which package has the greatest ratio of drops to ounces? So we have 30 drops to 10 ounces, or we have 24 drops to 6 ounces. Um, since both of these are evenly divisible, we can actually just simplify both of them to denominator 1 if we simplify. 30 divided by 10 would be 3, 10 divided by 10 would be 1. So this would be a 3 to 1 ratio, 
24 divided by 6 would be 4, 6 divided by 6 would be 1, so your cherry cough drops would actually have a greater ratio of drops to ounces.